fucking confused Can I tell if I'm paranoid Or it's all in my head It's all in my head No signal out here My thoughts are high noise What you say right now If he had a choice Can I tell And I try to know If it's all in my head It's all in my head Can I do what I want Blue. 
again, again, again. Do you like pain again? Again, 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 again. And so this next song I'm going to play is a new one. It's called Angels.
just watch that car make time We won't even have to shout Cause Stephen Watts can find a way out You just relax and don't kill the whole time Boy Tired of your days, you just don't stop speaking. Don't stop with feeling for you, for you. I'm getting tired of your ways. Oh, you can keep on calling. Tired of your game. You just don't stop speaking. But I'm done with dealing with this boy. I'm getting tired of your ways. Oh, you can keep on calling. I'm done with falling. So I've got one more song to play. It's called Thanks for Nothing, which is off my uh, most recent EP called Do You Like Pain? Um, and on saxophone is Jazzy Bobby. And she's also done a remix of Thanks for Nothing, which is also on the EP. But thank you for listening. This is the end.
Hey everybody, uh, Juan here. I'm here with Nilfa, Yanya, and Jazzy. Thank you guys for playing the basement. That was really that was awesome. Thank you. How did you guys actually meet? If you don't mind me asking. We met at school. Okay. We were like school friends okay. or secondary school or your high school then. Our high school. Yeah, high school. <laughs> yeah, we were like twelve, thirteen. Okay. And then we didn't see each other for a while. Yeah. When we were like sixteen to eighteen to nineteen, and we. And then we like met at a gig. Just randomly. Had you already played music as kids together or? No. Not no. together, no. But you had been playing music separately? Yeah. Cool. You have a really interesting um, guitar playing style and as far as like your melody choices and chords. Um, what's your approach to writing guitar parts? I guess I'm always trying to find something that I find interesting to play. So I'd like to like change up a bit or like have like contrasting sections or... I don't really have a okay. like a way of doing things. It's just um, you try to keep it interesting yeah, for yourself. I try yourself. to keep it interesting for myself, yeah, and then totally because guitars can be kind of a cliche exactly. instrument. Yeah. So it's like no, totally. Yeah. So I know you run a nonprofit with your sister, Artists in Transit. Yeah. Um, can you um, tell us a little bit about it, and if there's anything like our viewers could do to contribute mm -hmm. or to help to that? Okay, so it's an like a non-for-profit arts collaboration project. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've been working in Athens okay. and, um, this is our fifth time we went. I just got back like two weeks ago. This is our fifth workshop we ran. Um, oh. we've been in the last two times we were in the same squat because lots of people, um, lots of refugees in okay. Athens, um, the camps are full and like, there's not anywhere else for them to be. So there's like all these old school buildings and they get turned to squats and people mm -hmm. just go move in and there's just loads of children and families and most of the kids don't go to school or they do it's only like every now and then because they really like unsettled yeah. so we just yeah. come and like kind of set up like almost like a classroom style activities but without it being a classroom or yeah. um without making which trying to make it fun right. really and creative and and how's it going how's the experience been working yeah with it's, been really it's been really good really good. positive um cool. i think it's been going really well and if people want to get involved they can apply to volunteer okay. or they can donate via our funding page okay we're What's artists that? You know in that? transit okay. at facebook is at artist transit so you'll see that there awesome um so i really i love the video for thanks for nothing um it has some references to tarot and sort of ritual um what was the thinking behind that video i'm a huge jodorowsky fan and he is one of the leading tarot readers in the world and we've referenced him a lot on the show um now I may be reading into it too much, but like, where where were you guys coming from with the concept for that? Um, so the overall concept was meant to be a metaphor of being uh, in a weird relationship or like a well not weird, but something that's obviously not for you. And then mm -hmm. you kind of just you look around, you're like, well, how did I get here? Like, why am I here? I need to make an escape plan. Right. <laughs> totally. Which is kind of like the video, and um, the the cards that we had that was from a it's like a 70s game my sisters have. Okay. And um, it's called Stargate, I think. Stargates? Yeah, Stargate. Okay. And like you can that. determine, not determine, but you can um, help make choices. But you have like a map of the cards and you pick like seven cards and you put them in different places and each one like means a different thing. And then you can determine your next, not determine, but like you can help helps you make a decision based upon for the future right the signs did you guys do any cool. readings on set i did the day before oh, but <laughs> yeah anything interesting or um <laughs> yeah it was interesting okay. yeah cool can't remember but i was like Something oh yeah it makes sense giving you some direction for the future yeah exactly so we're gonna take some uh, we're gonna take up a couple questions from our live viewing audience um see what they have to say today okay this is from at blazing inferno um you shred Sliding Doors is my favorite. Do you have a release date for your full length? And then unrelated to that, what's your favorite color? Let's start with the release date <laughs> for the full length. Okay, um, I don't have a release date set, but hopefully like early 2019. Okay, oh, so it's gonna be a minute. Yeah. We'll, okay, we'll yeah. wait patiently. We have to wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, my favorite color is, it's probably pink. Okay. Stop. Fair enough. What about you? My favorite color, ooh, um, maybe like purple. So purple and pink. Purple okay. pink. Yeah. I like pink too. That's a tough question. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> cool. All right. 
This is from Arena H. Uh, what are your inspirations? Um, it's very, it's very general. Yeah, uh, I'm inspired by. It's a very general answer, but life, I think, okay. is like, your experiences. Yeah, or just like watching life and the way it kind of. I really like how. You get like things come together and like, or like random. Just just the way it kind of goes back and forth on mm -hmm. itself and then like your world expands and then it gets Cycles smaller again and, and yeah like me and jazzy like we wouldn't if someone said oh you'll be playing in new york in like <laughs> when you're in your 20s we'd be like what you're crazy. yeah <laughs> and then yeah. also together we'd be like huh yeah <laughs> what <laughs> and this was more stripped down than what you've been doing right like you did some south by southwest dates that had more of a full band right yeah the full okay. band setup at the moment is got drums and bass okay. as well All right, this is from bob J. Who are you listening to? Is this one, this one up to both of you guys. Yeah. Who are you listening to? Anything that you might um, want to recommend? I'm always listening to Little Dragon. Oh yeah. Little Dragon is like They're one of my great. faves. Love yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll say that for now. Okay. Then come back to me. <laughs> <Can't remember. laughs> yeah, she's been playing that a lot um, in oh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a lot of um, this Egyptian singer called Mariam Saleh. Okay. Um, she's really cool. Cool. Really cool stuff. Do you get inspiration from world music? Because I know you're Turkish, Irish. Mm -hmm. Did any of that growing up? Did any of that um, sort of filter down my into dad your? I played a lot of Turkish music at home. Oh, he did. Okay. Um, but I haven't like sought out inspiration specifically from different world music. It's just like if I am or I'm not listening to it, I don't know how much it's inspired my music. But inevitably it may have it may have seeped in a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Totally. What about you? Um well my mom my mom's from this country called Suriname. Oh yeah. So she used to play her and like my grandma and like my mom's family used to play a lot of kind of Surinamese music. Which was really cool. I don't know if that's inspired me either, though. But like, it's no, great. It's you really guys were like, exposed to, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, we definitely yeah. were. Very it's really cool. like fun, fun, happy music, really. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, this is from Matt S. right here in Brooklyn, and this kind of relates. Uh, we were just talking about South by Southwest, and Matt asks, "How was South by Southwest? Craziest thing you saw?" Uh, it was so fun. Do you remember what? craziest thing we saw no you remember i feel like you I remember, remember. <laughs> you I mean, you, you there was like there, loads yeah. of naked ladies on stage oh, oh, yeah and really yeah there was this yeah it's singer i don't know she was like naked and she had like a she kept her, her jacket on and like she had this like blue thing on her chin yeah um and then she started climbing oh yeah she was she climbed the stage like there yeah. were loads of poles and then oh. she was like singing from there and like it's really wacky music it was all definitely like very performance art like yeah. Through people like lying around and like it was an interesting setup actually, really and all like atonal yeah. melodies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who it was. Yeah, I don't know what they were called. But and yeah. do you guys like Texas? As the follow-up question from our viewer. Yeah, I liked Austin. I haven't seen a mess of Texas, but Austin and that was, was your nice. First time. Yeah, cool. it was very dusty though. My hair was very dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. very dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty. It's hot, yeah. yeah. I could How like about, draw yeah. pictures on my shoes. Oh, really? They were like covered in dust. That was fun. Gears getting covered in dust. <laughs> yeah, everything. But that was cool, though. In this weather we have now, is this kind of reminding you a little bit of London? Yeah, too much. Yeah, too much. You're like, I thought we were getting away from. from yeah. We're right back in it. Um, we have a couple of more. This is from Will K. Is there going to be a theme with your next album? Yeah, there will be a theme, right. but I don't know what it is yet because it's not finished. Right. It's it can sort of develops over time. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Probably will be a theme. Cool. Um, are you are you working on any other projects currently? Yeah, uh, I'm working on my own project. Okay. And um, what's that? How could we find that? So it's under the name Jazzy Bobby. Okay. Um, and it's on like SoundCloud and stuff. I've only got a couple tunes. Okay. Um, and I did the remix for one of Nilifer's tracks as well, Super so you cool. can listen to that. Cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of like... Bit more, it's a bit different from Nilifer's stuff, a bit more electronic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my main kind of other thing. And this is not a nickname for you. This is your real. No, that, name. that's, that's no my parents. No relation <laughs> to jazz, sex, nothing. Okay. No, no, it's subconsciously, uh, though, you gotta admit, it might have yeah. steered you a little bit. Um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, we all have kind of interesting names Juan Pigzanski, Polish, Argentinian. Wow. So we're all, you know, we're keeping it interesting. You know? Nice little mixed bag. Yeah, yeah total mixed bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is from um, this is from a YouTube uh, question. Um, <laughs> Very specific. What reads do you use for your sex? <laughs> Someone enjoyed your tone. So. Um, okay, so I use a few different ones. Okay. Um, at the moment, they're Van Doren Javas, but I'm not super keen on them. I think usually I use uh, Rico Hemp Keys. So and they come in boxes of five. Okay. Uh, hemp? Three. Hemp, hemp Key. Hemp, okay. hemp Key. Got, hemp Key, got it. Got yeah. It, got it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I use. <laughs> and it doesn't make a big difference to you, like. Uh, yeah, to me it makes okay. a massive difference. I don't I know. Imagine. Yeah, I don't know how um, audible it is for the audience, for but them. for me it's like yeah, 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 it's huge. My brother plays sax. I'm gonna have to ask him oh, about nice. those reeds. Like, yeah, he's checking dude. on that. I don't think many people use them. So. Okay. This is from <laughs> at mattress tag. That's good. Um, <laughs> Can we look forward to more U.S. tour dates from you Yes, yeah? you can. I'm playing at Form Festival in Arizona. Okay. Um, and I'm also going on tour with Fleet Flocks. Fleet, I keep saying Fleet Flocks. Fleet, Fleet, Fleet Flocks. Fleet, Fleet, Fleet Foxes. Foxes in July. Oh, that's very cool. Which is going to be really exciting. Yeah, that's amazing. We're playing like around a bit. Wow. And then I'll be at Pitchfork Festival in Chicago oh, cool. as well. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Fleet Fox, that's going to be a really great audience. I feel like they're going to really, oh. really, yeah. <laughs> and you did some tour, some dates with Broken Social Scene, right? Yeah, we did two yeah. dates last year. Did you get to year. hang out with them at all, or is it just more like... It was very, know, like, hectic. Yeah. quick, 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 because yeah. they were, like, yeah. on the road. They did a legendary set down here um, years ago. So, oh my so God. if you dig it up, if you're watching right now, dig up the Broken Social Scene. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, uh, that's no more questions. So, uh Thank you guys again for playing the basement. That was Thank really you. lovely. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank See you. you next time. Bye.